You probably saw some of that fog this morning on your way to work. And you probably saw what you thought was snow, but it really wasn't. And it wasn't. It was actually some frozen fog droplets that were falling out of the sky. We had dense fog develop over the area. Here's a look at what it did look like for some of our motorists and some of you who may have been standing outside this morning. Uh, we had the fog bank, and that was partially due to, of course, the snow cover that we have releasing moisture into the atmosphere. And then it looked like a uh, little snow was falling over the area. It was not snow. It was uh, frozen fog droplets, or also known as hoarfrost, and that was falling over the area this morning. But that, for the most part, has now dissipated, and now we have the gorgeous sun to report across most of the metro area. And here's a look outside through Channel 5 Zion, St. Louis. The temperature out there is above freezing now, up to 36 degrees. Also reporting a little bit of haze in the atmosphere. Relative humidity, 67%. Winds are from the southeast at 6, and the barometer rising at 30.54. We're expecting a high temperature this afternoon of 44 degrees, getting closer and closer to that normal high of 50. 23 was the overnight low temperature, and uh, no snowfall. No rainfall, just a little bit of hoarfrost recorded across the area earlier this morning. We'll take you back in time, and yesterday at this very same time, we had mostly sunny skies over the air. It was a very nice day. Temperatures uh, started to warm a little bit, and we saw a little bit more of the snow melt, as we will too today as well. Overnight, though, we did see the fog developing over the region, and then a little low cloud deck that also developed over many of the rivers back to the Ohio Valley, the Mississippi River Valley, and that hampered travel across this area this morning. Out west, still a lot of cloud cover and a storm system just offshore, bringing some rain showers for coastal sections of Oregon down the coastal central California, and snow in the higher elevations all the way back to portions of the northern Rockies. There is a leading edge of warm air, though, that is starting to push eastward across the plains, 